Sadie from Living Detroit. I'm hanging outside the Loving Touch in Ferndale, Michigan. Me and Becca are about to go inside to check out Duende, Pasal Agua, and Pink Lightning. We're going to catch up tonight with two of the bands and we're going to get you guys some video. Let's go. I'm here with Pasal Agua. Instead of uh, waiting till see you guys, I'm actually talking to you before you play. Yeah. So I, I, I think we. I think it's probably better because we'd be sweating so much and it's kind of chilly. When we catch pneumonia, it's better than we do it now. I think it's worse because I've had a few drinks. So. <laughs> That's a good thing. All right. All right. We're at the Loving Touch. We're hanging out in Ferndale. Um, I was very excited to finally see you guys. We saw you guys at DIY and you guys were kind of the talk of the town after that. Definitely got a lot of press from that. Definitely had a lot of good vibes. What you guys think about that show? It was a lot of fun. Um, we were pretty sweaty inside after room. This one was Boss Radio, it's just me rapping with one day. Captain 44 directed it. Yeah, it turned out really well. Uh, I like all the shots of the city, there was a couple shots of Ferndale. We got the good shots, got the good car shots, got Joel flicking it off everybody. Whose really. cars were they? I don't know. <laughs> you, got, you got to ask Wendy about Borrowed that. I it from somebody. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Um, you guys won the Presley Award this year, right? Uh, yes. Did you win it as a team together? Yes. Okay. That must have been a pretty cool honor. It was. It was kind of a surprise. I mean, I know uh, we were thinking about just, you know, submitting, and at that point, it's so early, you're not sure how many people are submitting, you don't know what your chances are, so the fact that we got, I actually got an email from Brett saying, oh, congratulations, and I missed the voicemail, and I go, what are you talking about? And he goes, well, that's, we're like, we're crazy fellows, and it was just kind of like, it's really, it was really a life-changing thing. Um, it's really made a difference in both of our lives. It's just, it's really... It's Do you feel like it's opened up doors for you? Yeah, we're part of a secret society now. Yeah, yeah definitely. Just, we walk in the doors. That feel, are you guys doing anything special? I know when I talked to Terry from Bahamut, who also won this year, yes. um, he was talking about, you know, different projects that he was working on. I know they kind of expect that you're going to do something. Do you have an idea for that, or...? We usually have three to four projects going at all times. So, Good. uh, they're all secret. Uh, That's cool. But there's a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely opened a lot of doors, and uh, we're just we're just happy to be working with a lot of really cool people in the city. Some people that we wouldn't have reached out to uh, that we have this opportunity now that we're all. Uh, How did you two meet each other? Um, we met Brian in a back alley <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> um, no, we actually went to school together. That was uh, good. That was good. You like that? Um, wouldn't it be funny though if we just like ran into each other like, hey, I rap, and we're like, hey, you rap, you know, let's... We're just both rapping for ourselves. Much cool. You should make up a story where you guys were, like, he was in a back alley rapping, and yeah, you heard it, it and you walked like, up, and you guys just started we went, flowing together. Oh, you do? <laughs> man, we should rap together. Yeah. I mean, most rappers have that story. So. How long have you guys been working together? Uh, rap-wise? Yeah. About two years. About two years. Yeah. Do you guys write together? Do you write separately? It started off writing together, uh, but now we're, we're hot jobs, so we have to like call each other in. <laughs> you have to have your artistic space. Other. Yeah, yeah. We, we see have each, each other so space. much that we need our space, <laughs> and so we write separately. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's. I mean, yeah. I guess it all depends. Seven Hazy Summer, which is our newest, e uh, our newest album. Hazy uh, Summer. Seven Hazy Summer. Seven Hazy Summer. Hazy, hazy Summer. summer. Yeah. It can be seen as a Hazy Summer, but uh, that was uh, a lot of it was kind of separate. But we we made it uh, together. And, uh, we we worked things together back and forth. And a lot of emails. Seventy percent of my inbox is from uh, friends. So we would just kind of keep going back and forth. I got this idea. I got that idea. Awesome. Do you guys have any upcoming shows? Yeah, we got uh, Ipsy Fest next week. Oh, no. uh, it's a landing at Woodruff. October 13th. October 13th. October 13th. October 13th. Ow! And then we have Theater Bazaar. Oh my gosh, you guys are playing at Theater Bazaar? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. You're going to be there? I'm going to be there. Uh, do you have a 
Uh, well, I have a costume. I always have a costume. I don't want to give it away yet. Oh. But this year I'm actually going to do something a little scary. Usually I do sexy. This year I want to do... Have you guys ever been to Theater Bazaar? No. This is, this is You've really right. never been to... Okay. okay I went to the combat, like near the state fairgrounds, but I've never been to the actual <laughs> event. Theater Bazaar is interesting because like a slutty costume at Theater Bazaar is a girl who just shows up naked. Like it's not really you see the nurse, like it, it's just it's a different dimension of hell. Full frontal. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, do you guys have any favorite places that you guys like to perform? <laughs> I always like to ask that. There's so many good spots around the city yeah. and all the surrounding areas. Um, any memorable shows in the you know? Uh, memorable shows. Oh, well, we did the show with Will Sessions uh, a couple months ago, which was really fun. Um, and it was an early set, but people got really hyped, and we had a fog machine, and that was kind of nice. That was the debut of our fog machine. That's what I want to know is who's the uh, disco ball? That's Light Show Bob. Uh, okay. If you don't know Light Show Bob, I think if you go on Vimeo, there's a, a Light Show Bob documentary. But he set up all that stuff. I'm sure he's probably been here since 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Yeah, that's crazy. It's all his setup. Uh, he's an amazing guy. He actually made it. Uh, he,
for catching up with us tonight. Unfortunately, Duende played very long and brought a lot of people on stage, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch them, but you guys did a great job. We're very excited to see what comes from you in the future. Uh, remember, Duende plays here the first of the month, every month at the Loving Touch. They always play with a couple other bands, so we'll make sure to check them out in the next month or two. Bye, everybody.